speaking out when others refuse to do so is something that I bring to the table. Canadians will always know where I stand. Dakota Christensen for Rebel News here in North York, Ontario at the National Event Centre where the independent member of Provincial Parliament, Roman Babber, is set to formally announce his bid for the federal Conservative Party leadership race that is beginning to take shape in Canada. Well folks, we did make it inside the event here where Roman Babber is set to announce his official candidacy in the federal Conservative leadership race. I will say it's a very relaxed atmosphere and unlike other previous Conservative Party events, we had absolutely no trouble getting inside. In the face of fear, Roman made a choice. The same choice he always makes. He chose to put people before politics. My name is Roman Babber, and I'll always stand up for what's right and for the Canadian dream. Whoa! I'm proud to announce my intention to seek the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada. I've always believed and lived the Canadian dream. And I'm here to reassure you, and every Canadian, and every young Canadian, and every new Canadian, that Canada remains the best country in the world. And despite the challenges, please have faith in Canadian kindness. Have faith that our democracy is strong and our opportunities are plenty. You were speaking about fighting cancel culture and deplatforming and bringing a good civil political discourse back to Canada. What concrete steps do you plan to take to actually do that in our political landscape? We have to be welcoming of, of folks that feel that they do not have a home in the Conservative Party of Canada. And that goes in particular for folks that are disillusioned with the party for not standing up to the, for them in connection with lockdowns and passports. So I think we need to start to have a healthy conversation. Uh, we need to reach out to young people. We need to reach out to new, new immigrants, new Canadians, communities that we typically uh, don't do too well with. And I believe that I'm in a good position to do that. Uh, I did not hesitate to be the only mainstream politician in Canada, elected politician, to speak uh, against the lockdowns when it was very unpopular to do so about 15 months ago. I decided that I wasn't going to be able to continue and, and watch some of the difficulties that families and, and, and children were experiencing against the background of, of a public health exercise that probably should have been conducted slightly better. COVID is a serious infection, but we should have focused protection. We should have protected long-term care homes where most of the risk is and build hospital capacity. So speaking out when others refuse to do so is something that I bring to the table. Canadians will always know where I stand. What would you do to make sure that something like this with the lockdowns and the mandates never happens again and that you're able to fulfill that promise? What would you do? Well, first of all, I'd start listening to Canadians. And for the last 15 months, I wasn't just taking constituent phone calls from the York Centre riding. I've been taking constituent calls from all over the province. I've been taking calls from all over the country. Sometimes politicians just don't listen to, to folks. And, and that will not be the case with my government. We will always have our finger on the pulse. We will know what people feel. And intuitively, I, I, I'm a friendly guy. I speak to a lot of people. I want to know what's going on and I will adjust accordingly. I will not hesitate. All right, folks. Well, it's official. Roman Babber has formally announced he will be running for the leadership of the Federal Conservative Party in Canada. He is the third person to do so after Pierre Polyev and Leslin Lewis. And if you would like to see all of our future coverage on this leadership race in the Federal Conservative Party, make sure you go to leadershipreports.ca. You can see all of our future coverage as we bring you the other side of the story of this race. And also, if you appreciate our independent journalism in telling you that other side of the story, please do make a donation at leadershipreports.ca.